What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I. It's okay that we change. Hey guys, it's Jan. Today I'm here with a new video for you, and today I'm really excited because we're doing a get ready with me, and I'm gonna be doing my hair, my makeup, and I'm definitely going to be doing an outfit and taking you guys out to brunch with me in New York City. I guess let's just get started into the video, and we're just gonna get started into makeup first because I feel like that's always what I do. So I just put on my moisturizer. Love a good moisturizer. This one's really nice because it feels like <laughs> water, which is funny because it's called the water cream from Tatcha. And it's really nice. It's not super thick. It literally just like blends into your face. So after I moisturize, I usually let it sit for a few seconds and I go in with my milk primer. Um, I really like this guy. I think it's really easy to use because it's just like a stick product and I think it works really well. I have like a shine to my face and it like just takes everything away so fast. Sorry if like my, I'm not so upbeat but I legit just woke up and I feel like my, my personality right now is like a little bit on the lower section but I woke up like this truly and I feel like I have to give you guys just how I am. I'm not gonna like pretend or anything. For my foundation, I'm still using the Rare Beauty foundation that I showed you. I'm really obsessed with this. I do think it's technically like a shade too light, but you know what? Like we can only try our best when we can't take our mask off. Uh, and the Sephora lady was like trying to help me too as best as she could. And I think she did a pretty good job for the most part because I do think this foundation oxidizes quite a little bit and once I put like my bronzer on and everything it's fine and since I've been working from home I obviously don't wear as much makeup as I used to like going to work I would always wear foundation but now I've just been using my merit products as you guys saw in my new year new makeup video <laughs> basically I just kind of do that that's basically it I'm still obsessed with the foundation brush I should also probably drink water I feel like I try my best to drink as much water as I can a day but sometimes like when you're working or something you're not really moving from your desk it's so hard to like remember I bought a water bottle that's supposed to help me like you know like with the measurements or ones that say like you're supposed to have this amount of water at this certain amount of time and I don't think it's actually helped me <laughs> all that much um, but I do I think it's helped me in a way where like I realize how much water I'm drinking a day now but I can't say it like motivates me to continue drinking maybe a little bit but at least now I'm, I'm aware of like how much water I'm taking in and I guess in that way it does make me want to drink more so I guess in a way it's motivating me um okay and now that I blended my foundation to the best of my ability I'm gonna go in with my um, instant age rewinder from Maybelline and I've used this as a concealer for literally years since like I'm pretty sure since high school or at least since like the beginning of college which has been like like six seven years since the beginning of college wow oh that's not it I'm not done I think I was just shook it that it's been a while since I've been out of college um okay not that long i've literally been out of college for like three years but it's still it feels weird i've been feeling really weird lately especially with all that weird like um millennial slash like gen z talk i don't know why that always makes me feel bad because <laughs> i'm also just like an emotional person um not saying that like gen z has like actually come for us i think like people are just giving them bad like reps for no good reason um and obviously like <laughs> i don't know um i've just been feeling a lot older than i am i'm obviously 25 years old so i'm not that old i'm actually quite young <laughs> but um and i'm sure i'm gonna feel like weird when i like am older um and think like that i felt old at 25 but still at 25 i'm just feeling like i'm already like out of the loop on just trends and different things and it makes me feel so weird <laughs> and so uncomfortable because like I don't want to I don't want to like grow up yet <laughs> if that makes sense I'm like not ready to grow up 
I still want to like be young and like stay young and obviously that's not possible and obviously like I'm happy to like have a life and be living and growing up and that's nice but it still like is a little sad it's almost like you're saying goodbye to a little version of yourself um like i remember my college days and those were really fun times and maybe now i'm just feeling super nostalgic too because we can't really go out and like do like fun crazy stuff especially during these covid times so i think i've just been feeling really nostalgic with a lot of different things and i just go back to my college days because those were the days okay high school those were not the days <laughs> and um college yeah those were some really good days and it's also where i met like my boyfriend and everything you know i've just been feeling nostalgic okay obviously i look like a ghost right now but i promise you that this will be oxidized and like as soon as i put the powder on it's gonna like change completely you guys will see the transformation um so don't get scared <laughs> This does look scary right now, I, I agree. So let me know if you guys actually like this angle of me like filming this makeup or if you guys just prefer me looking at the camera. I think personally it's more difficult when I look at the camera, but if you guys appreciate that one better, I will definitely do that for you guys. Um, I just wanted you guys to have like a different sort of scenery and not just my face. So now we're doing our powder and you guys will see how much it changes in color. I think you guys can already tell. So I'm just going to stop talking now and I'm gonna just continue doing this makeup and showing you guys the products. That way we go and do this a lot faster. Okay, for instance, I've only done one half, but you guys can tell, right? Like it oxidizes a lot. So it does kind of work out <laughs> like this color and my skin, like it, it's actually pretty pretty good i don't know if i if i got a shade darker it might be it might be too dark but like as soon as i put this powder on it literally transforms this makeup so um i'm just gonna like i said go ahead and continue doing my makeup and i will show you guys the product as i go that way this video isn't like three hours long for no reason <laughs> so now i'm gonna go in with my naked heat palette and my mom bought me this um a bit ago actually i think like a christmas or two ago um and i still use it it's really really good i like this one and i like the naked petite heat palette too um i've just been using these kind of interchangeably i just blend out this um eyeshadow with my same translucent powder all the time i've been doing this for years so i'm going in with my tarte hotel heiress um ooh, she said hello it's me okay so i'm gonna go in with this bronzer let me know if you guys recommend any makeup br um brushes for bronzers because i struggle with this one i'm not gonna lie okay now we're gonna blend this all out because obviously we look a little crazy translucent powder round two and then this is the fun part i like using the tarte um blush bliss palette for this like that and i like it on my nose and blend 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 and then last but not least for face i go in with the melt gold or highlight i got this highlighter because stephanie vega mentioned it in her video and i really liked it so it took me a while to hop onto this highlighter trend or lifestyle whatever you prefer to call this and now um i'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows okay since you last saw the selena gomez rare beauty haul that i did i still am really loving brow harmony deep brow brow products basically and i've been obsessed still i think like this really just glides on what i do is just like draw the baseline first like that um, I actually go in with the other side, which is the gel, and that's how I fill it in. I think it's a lot easier, and it makes for a more natural brow this way. I love how bushy this product gets your eyebrows. 
without making it like overly overly bushy hi so um my camera died but i've not finished my eyelashes yet and i've not finished my lips but for my lips i'm going with my rare beauty in the color brave i love this color so much it's so pretty and then i'm gonna go in with a normal mascara thing clamp whatever it's called and the colossal volume express hi i'm also here to show you guys the difference and these are my real lashes just wanted to show you guys what my mascara just did for me i want to show you guys the straightener that i'm going to be using i'm not gonna actually straighten my hair i think i'm gonna like wave up some of the pieces that have like died since last night i recently got this as recently as last night <laughs> Uh, I got it at Target actually, but it's the Kristen S straightener. Um, it seemed really pretty, which is why I got it, but also I read a lot of really good reviews. It's super cute. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of go around my hair and do little things to it that'll make it look a lot better. For instance, like my bangs need to be more swishy swish. Also last night I already sprayed in my Tresemme with marula oil heat protectant spray so i'm not gonna do it again don't know i'm just gonna clamp okay i don't know if that worked or if it looks hideous um ooh, hmm i don't know if i like that but like kind of <laughs> no 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 i am truly struggling right now okay we're just gonna let her live her best life on her own hey guys so i'm just coming on here to show you guys my hair um yeah obviously i was struggling in the bathroom but this was the first time i was using a hair straightener to like wave up my bangs um and i think i did a pretty good job i'm really liking it the way it looked um, and I had waved up my hair yesterday, so I didn't really have to do anything crazy to that. But, um, Brandon and I are about to head out to brunch. I'm gonna show you guys the outfit in a second. Um, and I'll see you in a bit. I was originally off for Saturday. Ooh, cutie. <laughs> well, you are. <laughs> What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I. It's okay that we change, but it feels kind of strange that you're not in my life. You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone. You're the only love that I've ever known. But we turn into a flower that never goes. I was hiding like the moon, like that never shows. I should have told you that I loved you one more time. One more time. So Brandon and I just got back from brunch, but I wanted to do like another quick little overview of my outfit. Um, mostly because I didn't get to show you the shirt I was wearing, but I thought it was a cute one. So I got this um, coat from H&M. It's really warm, but it's actually really light. I'm out of breath because I just climbed up the stairs, obviously. This is from Zara, I'm pretty sure. This um, scarf. But 100%, this is from Zara. I got it last year. Obviously, I'm wearing my Nike Air Force Ones with my Nike ankle socks, a pair of leggings because I'm telling you, I'm on my period and I don't want anything to do with anything that's tight. So everything is loose <laughs> in this outfit. But um, let me take off my coat so I can show you guys what's underneath. So just to show you what we were working with, I am wearing an oversized Van Halen t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. And it is in a size, I think it's like a one size fits all. And then I'm wearing a black turtleneck underneath. Um, and the turtleneck is from H&M. I am obviously wearing my Daisy London jewelry. That's it for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you guys next week. Bye. It's okay that we change, but it feels kind of strange that you're not in my life. You're the only